if I look at the seven year trend, what I do is, is we do every single month for the last seven years and it'll be revenue, profit, and profit percentage mm -hmm. for every single month. And I'm, I'm looking for, you know, where the growth is happening. Mm -hmm. Number one. Number two, I'm looking for consistency. And, and that's a big challenge I've been seeing in, in my travels here reviewing uh, p and mm -hmm. If If I do $800,000 in a month, I should know I'm going to make X dollars of profit. Let's just pretend it's a hundred thousand bucks. Yeah. Right. So, so I'll see a business do 800,000, make 120. Mm -hmm. The next month they'll do 800,000 and lose 14. Mm -hmm. The next month they'll do 850,000 and make 65. Mm -hmm. So th there's just, there's no correlation. And then, you know, when you talk to them, you know, they'll, they'll say that they're doing the accounting, right. And they're using the accrual system, but then, when you start looking how it's happening, it's it's partial accrual, <laughs> not so much. So we're not matching revenue and profit. Mm -hmm. um, businesses don't know their break even, mm -hmm. right? Um, so just some of these things start to come out when you look at the trend. And then, uh, you know, at the end, you know, when you look at the the year in totality, it's like okay, if you did a million dollars more year to year. Yeah. Right. So in, in 21 to 22, you did a million extra dollars. You know, what percentage of that additional revenue should convert to profit? Right. Right. So I always like to look at what their what their conversions are. And if sure. their conversions aren't, you know, in the upper 30s, you know, what's going on? What's eating that additional revenue? OK. Right. So all of a sudden you have a list of questions. You you look through that stuff, you start red flagging oh, yeah. it, writing it yep. down. Yep. And then who do you sit down with the owner or, you know, I don't know, small, smaller companies don't have CFOs, but maybe they have some right. admin manager that's managing yep. the books and yep. you just kind of dig in, right? Let's see yeah. how your accounting yeah. practice is, you know, if it's, exactly. an, just a, it's just an accounting issue or if there's an actual yep. operational issue, that's the first step. Yep. That's it. You will get, so if it's, let's just say it's last year, July and August, they're just yeah. something weird happened. You know, and sometimes there's that, you know, you bought something, you sold something, you know, there was a big, you know, inventory hit or something. But right. if there's nothing, you know, let's see it. And then so I'll have them print out the detail. You know, right. And then we'll look at a, a three month period at what labor's doing, what materials doing. And that's where you'll see the, the big variations. Right. One month, one month labor's, you know, 23 percent. And the next month labor's eight and a half percent. Mm -hmm. uh, we did a 